after meeting with the Philly SPCA about their stalled investigation into a tortured pit bull, Rescue Inc. is back. These guys grew up in some of New York's toughest neighborhoods and know that it's going to take a lot to loosen lips. We got two things working in our favor that the cops did not. One, we're not cops. Two, we got more money. A posting about the case on the Rescue Inc. website generated enough donations to add five grand to the reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction. Their goal now, get up in as many faces as possible. It's always somebody with a big mouth. Come here. Let's go right over here to this guy first. I don't. Somebody hung a dog over there and stoned him to death. Yeah. Tortured him to death. Where? In this school. You know the oh, abandoned yeah, school? Yeah, Listen, call this number. Six thousand dollars. We're giving five thousand. Somebody else giving a thousand. Call that number. They'll get in touch with us. We'll come right back down. You don't got to be anywhere near. Just point the guys out. Okay. And we'll take right. care of it from there, right? That's dirty. Right? That's dirty. That's right. You get six grand in your pocket. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all scared? We thought y'all were the client. No, 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 no. Bunch of skinheads. Lack of resources limited the police investigation to a few blocks around the crime scene. What, what about the other side, the other block? It's a rough neighborhood, but Rescue Inc. specializes in going places other groups don't. To get information, Rescue Inc. knows that making a big splash is imperative. They'll cover a much wider area, post hundreds of flyers, and question every person they meet on the way. It's all about the footwork. Hey! Yeah, you make moves. five grand? Yeah. You make five grand? Yeah. Six grand. Doing what? Somebody hung this dog and tortured him to death. You call that number, everything Oh, is this in Walton Schoolyard? Yep. 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 Everything is confidential. You call this number, we're back down here the next day, you make yourself 6,000. They probably fought him, too, and he probably lost. Then they probably hung his ass. That's what happens around here. <laughs> the guys come back together as they approach a block party. Guys, we just want to talk to you for one second, man. We're not cops, bro. Listen, we're, we're not cops, and please don't call them on us, all right? We're definitely not cops, I can tell you that. The large group is an opportunity to reach a lot of people at once. What we're looking for is any information regarding the dog that was hung in the corner over there. They're picking on defenseless animals. You know what I mean? You think that's cool? Right? Isn't that sickening? No. You know what the problem is? Anybody that's willing to do this to an animal that's defenseless to turn around and do something like this to a kid or something like, you know what I mean? They got feelings just like we do, and this is horrible. You know, some people don't realize it. They say it's just a dog, but they took a life. A lot of houses are facing where it happened, so they have a clear view. The guys head back toward the schoolyard where the dog was found to make a second pass at some of the buildings. No. Wayne tries to find the owner of a building with a direct view of the schoolyard. You know what, you got, a, you got this guy in the corner. He's been making phone calls since we've been here. So he's, I can almost guarantee you, he's calling up the person uh, over here and telling him there's a bunch of guys out here looking around your property. The neighborhood is now very aware of Rescuing's presence, exactly what the guys hoped for. But Ann sees that some of the residents don't right. seem to trust them. So you saw the dog already dead on the, yes. on the poles, is that what you're saying? Yeah. You're walking by yeah. here, you saw it over oh, what, there? What's it right there at the schoolyard? It's yeah. an opening right there. Yeah. Well, there. Nobody was in the schoolyard, nothing, right? It's all the time. I can't say yeah or nay, but I didn't see that directly being happen to this animal, right? No one in the neighborhood is giving any information. For Wayne and Big Ann, the frustration mounts. I don't want to report it. That's right. Everybody is saying that. I don't want to report it. That's typical in a neighborhood like this, because nobody wants these gangbangers coming to their house, you know what I mean, saying they, they ratted them out. But it is what it is, I guess. That's, that's the hood, man. Five hours of hitting the streets, and the guys know they've pushed the neighborhood far enough. Rescue Inc. calls it a day. It's just a matter of time before uh, somebody uh, opens their mouth and tells us what we want to know. You know, we got the reward out there. It's on the fly. Everybody knows. So these guys are hurting for cash. So it's just a matter of time before somebody gives these guys up.